All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to use a tool called Hydra to access a router's settings or configuration screen, whatever you want to call it. So as I'm sure you guys know, whenever you go to the IP address of a default gateway or maybe a variation of it, what it does is it gives you this web page where you can access your router settings and you can change things like the default DNS server. Uh, this is where you set the pre-shared key or password for your Wi-Fi network. Basically any settings that you can perform on your router. This is how you get to it. So if you click login or maybe the forms right here, then what it has you do is it has you type the username and the password. Now, most of the time, what you need to do, and this is incredibly easy, if you just look at the manufacturer of your router and maybe the model number, let me just close out here, then all you have to do is you have to go to Google and say, okay, what is the default username and password? And it's usually something really easy like user, user, blank, password, uh, admin, admin, you know, something really simple like that. So if you ever get to one of those screens, first, just Google it and see what the default, uh, you know, credentials are. Now, if you were smart and you actually change your password, like I recommend most people do, then maybe a few months later you came back and you're like, all right, I want to change, I don't know, maybe my Wi-Fi password, but I can't remember my password that, uh, you know, I changed my router to. Well, what you can do is you can use a tool called Hydra, and this allows you to perform a dictionary attack on your router. And I guess it isn't really a attack, it's more of a recovery tool since it's your own router but I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. So, and by the way, I know that my router before this tutorial, I already changed it back to default, which is the username is user, and the, um, the password is also user. So just remember that, it's user, user to log in, but we'll do it the cool way. All right, so before you start doing this, you're gonna need to have two files. The first one, is for potential usernames and the second one is going to be for potential passwords and they're usually going to be a lot longer than this but this is just an example so what it's going to do is this tool is going to go through every username and for each one it's going to try all of these passwords so root with this password then root with this password then if it can't hit any it's going to go to admin admin with this then this then this all the way down here and it's basically going to go through every combination until you find the one that works so let's close out of here and I'll show you guys how to use it. So if you just type Hydra, then after this you need to give it the page where it's going to log in. And I closed out of my browser, but mine was login.html. So if you go to HTTP, that was the protocol. And if you just type in the IP like you would in a browser, it gets um, a little confused. So you need to surround it with square brackets. So 192.168.0.1, and this isn't the same IP for every um, single router. The IP of your router depends on the manufacturer, how your network's set up, but for mine and a lot of people's, it's going to be this one or maybe 168.1.1. Uh, .1. So just look for your own. You know, there's a bunch of different variations. So my login page is login.html. So this is pretty much the page where we have to type the username and password. So after this, I'm just gonna show you guys a bunch of different um, parameters that you guys can use. These are uh, very helpful and I almost do them all the time. Maybe I should just type all of these first, so. V, then minus T, we'll do a four, and that's good for right now, all right. So this minus ENS right here, this means that, I'll show you guys. Actually, let me bring that back up. Usernames and passwords. So you know how I said that, what this is gonna do is it's gonna look at every username and try every password for it. Well, whenever you have the ENS flag, it's not only gonna do that, but it's also going to try, um, so for this one, the password of root. So it tries itself as a password too, and also a blank password. So this one, is gonna try all these combinations plus root plus blank for the password. This one's gonna try all the combinations plus admin plus blank for the password. So it just gives you some more um, options. And by the way, oh, like even my router, the username and password are both the same, user, user. And I see admin, admin a lot. So this flag is actually really helpful. Minus F, this means 
exit whenever we find a login. So as soon as we find the credentials that we can that match that we can use, then this stops the program and it doesn't, you know, no use continuing with the rest. We already found what we were looking for. This minus V just says to display the results in the terminal verbose. Give me something to look at. This minus T4, this says that this is the number of tasks that we're gonna run in parallel. Now you just don't want to do like a hundred because some routers won't allow it and even if they do, you know, then they could probably crash it. So usually minus T4, 8, or 16 are your options there. And the last thing that it needs is just the files for the username and the password. Now if you're using a list, then you use a capital letter. If you're using just one, then you use a lowercase letter. So let's say that I just had one username. I knew that the username was admin. I'm going to do lowercase l, admin. Now, since I have a list, then I use uppercase. So that's the difference between those two. And mine is on desktop and what was it? Top usernames. So top 10 usernames.txt. And well, it'll wrap. So, all right. So the last thing is, of course, the passwords. And same thing for password. So if you know the password is like bacon123, then you can just use a lowercase p. But I'm just using a list of passwords. So I'm going to use uppercase p. And then that's on the desktop too. And that is top 10 passwords.txt. So there you go. And well, now it's good to go. I'm going to hit enter and check it out. Look how fast that was. So it ran through all of the root. So as you can see, it did a root first and then blank, and then it went through the list. One, two, three, four, five, six. It did it for admin. That didn't work. And then it did it for user. And once it got to the login user, using the password user, it says, dun da dun, we finished. We found a valid pair. This is a username and password combination for your router. So now we can log back into our router and do whatever we want to do to it, change the password, DNS settings, uh, you know, maybe put some firewalls up, whatever you want to do, follow your heart. But there you go. That is the basics of Hydra. And I actually want to do like a little mini series on Hydra because there are a lot of different options and, you know, just different settings you can use. You can do this for like MySQL and um, SSH and FTP and, any, well, a bunch of different stuff, but I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. But there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Go log into your own router. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.